South Africa is an unusual place. It is a middle-income country, it's not low-income. In some ways it looks like a high-income country, but it has an HIV prevalence of, you know, the worst in the world. We have 5.6 million people living with HIV in South Africa. We have a 30% uh, prevalence rate amongst uh, women attending antenatal clinics. So it's a huge problem. There's a commitment that government needs to put in, not only to provide the drugs, but to ensure that people with HIV are healthy. And as you know, on antiretrovirals, people can live for many, many years. It became apparent that there was very little availability of information about the economics of dealing with the epidemic. Several of the provinces ran out of money. And in the extreme cases, they stopped procuring drugs or stopped starting new patients on treatment. And that caused quite a lot of outcry. One of the things that the South African government wanted was better information and in particular about the cost of their program so that those things wouldn't happen again. Boston University School of Public Health has an explicit mission to improve the health of disadvantaged populations domestically and internationally. At the time, we were working in South Africa on HIV-related economic issues, and it was just becoming apparent how bad South Africa's HIV epidemic was. It was an opportunity to put together a research team that hadn't existed before. A group of people from diverse backgrounds with, with very different skill sets. We have economists, we have epidemiologists, we have statisticians, we have social scientists. So we created a collaboration, and we called it HERO. HERO is the Health Economics and Epidemiology Research Office. HERO is a collaboration between the University of Witwatersrand as well as uh, Boston University and the Center for Global Health and Development. We have a large area of work that is on the cost and cost effectiveness of HIV treatment. If you had to spend the money, how would you best spend it to get the most number of patients treated or um, with the best patient outcomes or which is, a, is the most cost-effective treatment model? What is different about HERO than in any other health costing uh, groups is that we are focused on taking real patient observation data and translating that into modeling. One of the really visionary ideas that, that Ian had was to set up a, a really sophisticated data collection system. So we're standing outside of the Tembaletu clinic. We have been running this clinic now for almost uh, eight years. It's one of the largest clinics in the country seeing HIV positive patients. Upwards of 20,000 patients have been initiated on HIV treatment here. Because they also collect data on these patients. We have access to populations to answer important questions related to the treatment rollout. And it took some years to develop both the evidence base and the reputation that we can now answer questions the government asks us. The key thing about HERO is that because it's a group of academics, they are very rigorous, so the integrity of the results is not questioned. We were asked by government to look at the cost to South Africa of introducing new guidelines for HIV treatment, pulling in more HIV infected people, raising eligibility for both adults and children. Nothing in terms of the antiretroviral scale up had ever been attempted. We were desperate for data, you know, to understand what needed to be done. And in order to tell the government what it would cost to do that, we used the data that we had from that clinic and came out with a kind of price tag. They were the ones who turned around and said, this is how much it costs to save a South African life. It was very easy then for the ministers to make a decision and then to sell the idea of seeking additional funding to our national treasury. So it was a critical piece of work that led to us taking a decision, which the president of the country announced on World AIDS Day. Basically, the South African government has doubled the HIV treatment budget over the last three years. We now have an estimated 1.7 million people cumulatively on treatment. All of these things had something to do with us working with them. It's not as exciting as inventing a new cure, but if we can demonstrate that you can achieve the same thing for less, you can actually count the lives that you can save. Mm -hmm.